SpaceX is gearing up for a groundbreaking moment as its newly upgraded orbital launch mount faces its first ever test. After months of intense work, environmental challenges, and a successful maiden flight of Starship, the stage is set. Can this launch mount endure the titanic force of the booster? Will SpaceX achieve yet another milestone in its quest for space exploration? Let's find out in today's video. In a whirlwind of activity at SpaceX's orbital launch site, Booster 9, the focal point of a thrilling endeavor, has finally made its grand entrance. The stage is set for a critical static fire test, designed not only to assess the revamped Starship booster, but also to evaluate the improvements made to the launch pad. This moment marks a significant turning point in the overarching campaign that precedes the eagerly anticipated second flight of the awe-inspiring Starship, the mightiest rocket ever built. The journey leading up to this defining moment has been one of relentless effort as the SpaceX team dedicated countless hours to upgrading the Starship for its second orbital flight. With unwavering determination, they have meticulously introduced over 1,000 changes to the spacecraft, each one honing its performance and reliability. Among the most crucial enhancements are the upgrades to the thrust vector controls, staging procedures, liftoff mechanisms, and the flight termination system. A standout improvement is the shift from the hydraulic thrust vector control system to an electric one. This upgrade enables finer control over the engines, empowering them to function more independently. The move from hydraulics to electronics addresses a significant concern following the initial flight, which faced challenges with cascading Raptor failures triggered by a single malfunction. The new electric thrust vector control system promises to mitigate these risks, ushering in a new era of confidence and precision. Moreover, SpaceX is adopting an innovative hot staging technique to maximize payload capacity during ascent. This involves igniting the upper stage engines before shutting down all booster engines. The continuous thrust generated during the ascent is intended to increase efficiency and propel the spacecraft with unmatched power. To protect the booster from potential damage during liftoff, SpaceX has added increased shielding and a venting ring positioned between the stages, fortifying the spacecraft against the forces of launch. But the engineering marvels don't end there. The Starbase production site has been a hive of activity as SpaceX commenced the test campaign for Starship's second flight. The launch pad upgrades have been installed and meticulous testing is underway to ensure everything operates seamlessly when the time comes for liftoff. At the heart of these preparations lies the water-cooled steel plate system, an integral part of future Starship flights. Meticulous planning and labor have gone into installing this essential system. Three water supply manifolds have been carefully connected to ground storage tanks, ensuring an abundant and uninterrupted flow of water for cooling purposes. Every component has undergone rigorous testing, from welding and grinding to precise calibration to guarantee the system's flawless performance. As the big day approaches, SpaceX continues to work tirelessly, leaving no detail unchecked. The crew has been diligently testing and updating almost every launch pad system throughout the past week, from purging pressure and water pipelines to conducting tests on the orbital tank farm. Every step is meticulously planned and executed to perfection. Despite all the meticulous planning, some uncertainties remain, such as the recertification of the flight termination system. SpaceX has already tested the updated system on a booster, but further verification is vital for mission success. As the tension builds, the world eagerly awaits the static fire test, a pivotal moment that will set the stage for Booster 9's triumphant launch. The appearance of the renowned orbital launch mount and the launch tower vents signals an exciting new chapter at SpaceX's orbital launch site. The ground cryogenic conduits being purged are proof that the next Booster 9 static fire test campaign is imminent. But before this grand spectacle takes place, SpaceX has been busy putting its launch pad fire suppression system through its paces, ensuring it's in top-notch condition for the upcoming action. As the anticipation builds, the next steps for Booster 9 are unfolding rapidly. The static fire test campaign could kick off as early as next week. The booster made its striking transfer from the Mega Bay to the Rocket Garden at Starbase, captivating onlookers with its imposing presence. Close inspection reveals intriguing changes, 
such as the installation of cylindrical metal tanks in place of the smaller aerodynamic chines, now making all chines uniform in size. The purpose of these tanks remains a tantalizing mystery, although hints from Elon Musk suggest they might serve as additional consumable storage or purging gas for the engine area. The ultimate goal is to conduct a full engine static fire test before the end of the month. Successful completion of this test would open the doors to the highly anticipated return of a fully loaded Starship in early August, followed by a thrilling launch in the middle of the month. However, the stars must align just right for this grand plan to unfold. The launch pad, weather conditions, and vehicle hardware all must cooperate seamlessly. Moreover, SpaceX needs the FAA's green light to fly, requiring updates to the launch license for the rocket to incorporate the second flight. The preparations for Booster 9 don't end there. SpaceX has equipped it with a newly released set of flight termination system charges, enhancing its safety mechanisms. Additional charges have been strategically positioned to ensure the utmost protection, with any activation during flight serving as a failsafe to terminate the mission if necessary. Beyond Booster 9, SpaceX has ambitious plans for the remainder of the year. They're aiming for up to 10 Starship launches, including Starlink test flights and on-orbit replenishment missions. With a continuous buzz of activity at the production site, further advancements in the Mega Bay building are imminent. The new test article, known as 24.2, is also under construction, designed to facilitate testing of the cargo bay segment. But it's not just rockets and missions that occupy SpaceX's attention. In preparation for future human exploration beyond Earth orbit, extensive studies are underway to understand the physical and mental health of astronauts. The Moon to Mars Exploration Program, spearheaded by NASA and supported by the European Space Agency and the German Space Agency, delves into the human components of space travel. From mental health during lengthy missions to training astronauts for geological exploration on other celestial bodies, these studies form a crucial part of humanity's journey into the cosmos. In the far reaches of Norway's Lofoten, an Arctic region boasting crystallized magma, two esteemed ESA astronauts, Alexander Gerst and Samantha Cristoforetti, are embarking on a thrilling adventure. Armed with cutting-edge technology and an insatiable thirst for exploration, they are experimenting with a unique form of mapping using multi-spectral satellite photos. Their mission? To track their travels and uncover distinctive study targets through the art of remote sensing geology. In the pursuit of hidden gems, these astronauts use specialized satellites capable of detecting unique fingerprints left by rocks and minerals. Each rock's individual composition reflects sunlight in a distinct way, unveiling its secrets for those with eyes keen enough to perceive them. This groundbreaking technology holds incredible promise for future lunar missions, specifically the Artemis spacecraft, where it will aid in the crucial selection of potential landing sites on the moon. Venturing deep into Norway's terrain, Gerst and Ferretti focus their attention on orthocytes, a type of rock that shares commonalities with the lunar highlands. What makes this study particularly captivating is the presence of well-preserved orthocytes on Earth. While on the moon, they are scattered throughout the lunar surface. This anomaly provides a unique opportunity to unearth the mysteries of these rocks, as they represent an integral part of the lunar crust. As they delve deeper into the fjord, the rugged mountains evoke an almost ethereal ambiance, reminiscent of the early moon's molten ocean. In this primeval lunar state, the moon was ablaze with molten magma, and rocks akin to the orthocytes floated like birds on the fiery surface. It's as if the astronauts have journeyed back in time, witnessing the moon's ancient history unfold before their very eyes. The inspiration for this expedition stems from the iconic Apollo missions, especially Apollo 15, 16, and 17, which left an indelible mark on lunar exploration. Among the Apollo astronauts was Harrison Schmidt, a geologist who walked on the moon as part of Apollo 17. These missions laid the groundwork for scientific discovery guiding Gerst and Ferretti in their quest to be the finest geological sensors, honing their skills for future lunar habitats. As part of their ongoing simulation mission, the astronauts are immersed in a year-long Mars analog at the Mars Dune Alpha Habitat. 
Their rigorous daily routines encompass a wide array of tasks, including simulated spacewalks, robotic operations, habitat maintenance, personal hygiene, exercise, and even crop cultivation. The simulation replicates the challenges and pressures of an actual human voyage to Mars, from resource scarcity and equipment malfunctions to communication delays and environmental pressures. With the help of virtual reality and augmented reality technology, the astronauts undertake spacewalks, heightening the realism of the simulation. The mission is not only an opportunity to study the astronauts' cognitive and physical performance, but also an exploration of their adaptability and resilience under the harshest conditions. As Grace Douglas, the principal investigator of the simulation, remarks, this ambitious mission promises to unlock vital insights into the potential impacts of long-duration missions to Mars on crew health and performance. Every challenge faced, every obstacle overcome, paves the way for humanity's grand adventure into the cosmos. With each stride and every discovery, we inch ever closer to realizing the dream of interplanetary exploration, beckoning us onward to a future among the stars. Amidst the backdrop of ambitious lunar missions and grand interplanetary plans, NASA and SpaceX stand at the forefront of a new era in space exploration. Armed with cutting-edge technology and an unwavering spirit of adventure, they embark on an awe-inspiring journey to pave the way for humanity's triumphant return to the moon and set their sights on the ultimate goal, a human mission to Mars. As the year 2024 approaches, NASA's Artemis program gears up for a series of groundbreaking missions. The Artemis III mission, set to be the first crewed landing on the moon since 1972, is a pivotal moment in history. This mission will carry a four-person crew aboard the Orion spacecraft, successfully tested around the moon during the unmanned Artemis I mission. The astronauts will launch from the Kennedy Space Center, propelled by the colossal Space Launch System, SLS, moon rocket, set to make its grand debut in late 2024. A crucial component of Artemis III's success lies in SpaceX's human-rated Starship Lander, a technological marvel that earned a $2.9 billion contract from NASA in 2021. SpaceX's Lander stood out among competitors, boasting the most cargo space and the least costly offer. Since then, NASA has forged partnerships with SpaceX for additional Starship landers for Artemis IV and with Blue Origin for a human-compatible lander for Artemis V. The Artemis III crew, lifted by Orion, will rendezvous with the eagerly awaited Starship lander in lunar orbit. Towering 15 stories tall, the Starship will be paired with SpaceX's revolutionary Super Heavy booster, a recoverable and reusable rocket. Upon reaching low Earth orbit, the Starship will be refueled using a fleet of tanker vehicles powered by liquid oxygen and methane propellants. The Starship will then set its course for the Moon, housing two astronauts floating in its interiors. In lunar orbit, the Starship lander will dock with Orion, carrying two more astronauts. This will unite the four-person crew before commencing their lunar descent. The landing site near the Moon's South Pole has been strategically chosen promising new discoveries and valuable insights. Following their lunar adventure, Orion will safely return the astronauts to Earth, marking a momentous achievement in space exploration. Despite the meticulous planning and innovative technology, uncertainties linger, especially surrounding the number of tanker launches required and the need for an unmanned Starship demonstration landing on the Moon prior to Artemis III. With FAA approval being a crucial factor, anticipation and excitement build around the prospect of a successful second flight test. As humanity's dream of reaching Mars edges closer to reality, every mission, every test, and every step taken is a testament to our indomitable spirit and our unyielding quest to explore the cosmos. Amidst the uncertainties lies the promise of a new dawn where we dare to venture beyond our earthly bounds and embrace the infinite wonders that await us in the vast expanse of the universe. As the countdown continues and the stars align, the world eagerly awaits the unfolding of this epic saga, where humans and technology unite in a harmonious dance, forging the path towards a future among the stars. Will this audacious endeavor be crowned with success? Only time will reveal the answer, but one thing is for certain, our journey into the cosmos has only just begun. So, 
Are you excited about the upcoming launch? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.